Welcome to Electron Online. To further understand what a determinant is, we're going to take a look and see how it's used to solve a system of linear equations. We're going to use a very simple example. Let's say we have these two equations, they're linear equations, x plus 2y equals 2, and 2x plus 5y equals 0. How do we find the value for x and y that will satisfy both of those equations at the same time? What we can do is we can write this in a matrix format. We can write it as this matrix here times this matrix equal this matrix. Notice that the first matrix, we're going to call that matrix A, like that, is simply going to be the coefficients of x and y on the left side of the equal sign. Then we have a matrix that contains the two variables x and y, and then we have a matrix that contains the numbers, the constants on the other side of the equal sign. And so here are the three matrices defined by themselves. We then see that if you have A times X, that equals B. And you can see then if you multiply 1 times X plus 2 times Y equals 2, that gives you the first equation, and 2 times X plus 5 times Y equals 0, that gives you the second equation. In other words, this is the matrix format of these two equations. If you now take the matrix A, and you find the determinant of that, that matrix, so the determinant of A is A with the lines like this, that is equal to the same elements, but now with simply straight lines. And what we do with that is we multiply, since it's a two by two matrix, we multiply the diagonal numbers here, one times five, and we subtract the product of the diagonals here. This is two times two, which is five minus four, which is equal to one. Then you will learn later, and then we'll see some example here, in order to solve that system of linear equations, we take the elements in matrix B and we first replace the first column, which is 1 and 2 in matrix A, with these numbers right here. Let's call that matrix A1. So the determinant of A1 is simply equal to A1, written like this, which is equal to, now instead of writing 1 and 2 in the first column, we're going to write 2 and 0. We maintain the second column unchanged, 2 and 5, and then if we go ahead and work that out, we have 2 times 5, so multiply the diagonal here, minus the product here, minus 2 times 0, which of course that part is 0, so we get 10 for that matrix, or I should say for that determinant of that matrix. And then we do it again. We now put back or restore the elements in our original matrix A on the first column, but now we're going to take these elements and replace the second column with those. In other words, we now get a second determinant, A2, which we can write like this, and that is going to be equal to, remember the first row, or the first column goes back to the original, one and two, but the second column, two and five, will now be replaced by two and zero like this, and notice when we work this out, we get 1 times 0 minus 2 times 2, therefore we get minus 4. And now as you will see later, we might as well give you the secret here, we can find the value for x. x is now defined as the determinant a1 divided by the determinant a. And so this would be equal to a1 that we got right here, which is 10, divided by uh, a, uh, right here, which was equal to 1, but in other words, x takes on the value of 10. We can now also find y. y would be equal to a2 divided by a, again the determinant of a2 divided by the determinant a, which is equal to minus 4 over 1, which is minus 4. In other words, the solution to this particular system of linear equations, you can say that x equals 10, and y equals negative 4. Now we can do a quick check to see if we did this correctly. Let's plug in those values. Here we have 10 plus 2 times a negative 4, that would be 10 minus 8 is indeed 2. And for the second one we have 2 times 10, which is 20, plus 5 times a negative 4, which is negative 20, 20 minus 20 equals 0. And it checks, those do appear to be the correct values for x and y that will then give us a solution of those two linear equations simultaneously, the system of linear equations. So here again, you can see the value and the meaning of a determinant. 
is simply a single value number that you get by taking the elements of a n by n matrix, in this case a 2 by 2 matrix, and then manipulate them according to the rules of determinants so that you can then use that information to come up with the solution of the system of linear equations. Again, that should give you better insight as to what determinants are.